So I'm going to show you in this video how you can customize your iPhone 16 Pro Max control center or iOS 18. So let's jump right into this video. 18 plus 1, you can just swipe like this and then you're going to see here all your control center. But the problem here is the first time I have to click two times to get to Wi-Fi, which it's kind of tedious. It's kind of annoying, right? So to fix this and first of all, how you can customize it, you're just going to have to press tab on this button right over here on this plus. And if you tab on this plus from here, you can see you can just press on this minus right over here on this button and you can remove your icons here. You can remove all the icons from here. Now I don't have any icons I don't have anything so to add one you're just going to need to press on here right over here add control okay and you can add a control from here now some uh, some control that I use a lot is Wi-Fi so I'm just going to type here Wi-Fi and it's named WI and I'll just click on it now I have Wi-Fi I don't have you can also press and drag and you can increase uh, the size of this control if you press you're going to see that you have icon here if you hold you're going to see you're searching for more okay which is exactly what we want but now uh, i'm going to click on here and just uh, resize this again on this plus resize like this i'm going to move this because it's for me it's a bit hard to just get to wi-fi so i'll move it right over here which i'll be able to access right over here pretty easy if it's located there all right now let's click on add control now i'm also going to add the you can also just search because the first time i use this it's just hard to, I, I, not it's hard but i don't know how they're called all the controls here but look at it brightness i'm just gonna click and add brightness here okay very easy now it's really easy to to locate to press on brightness here to change the brightness it's very very nice now okay let's click now here and add uh, maybe i'll need the uh, mobile data now i'm just gonna press here and locate and position this right over here now add a control now what also i need and i use pretty often is airdrop and bluetooth so let's click on bluetooth add bluetooth uh, also and also i need here to add uh, we also uh, dark mode screen mirror we have here if you scroll all the way down you're gonna see they have visionary accessibility motor accessibility hearing accessibility you also can search for the controls that you want to add or for sure now let's see timer i also need timer okay and uh, add again another one this one and then i'm also gonna need bluetooth oh okay i already have bluetooth and by the way what about this one here you can just uh, press here and just remove them you can also and also i don't need that one here and now the last one i don't have anything so now what i have here is just instead of all the the one we added or we had before now we don't have any more of this we don't have any of this so i can scroll down now and add another one here let's say that one is just for just for notes or maybe just uh, some shortcuts i use uh, okay and you can add those here so i have to now and by the way if you want to reset because you just uh, made made a mistake you can just go to settings here and here in settings we have control center and then here you can click on reset control center all right and it's pretty easy now let's go back click on this plus here and now i'm gonna add another one so i'm just gonna click on here connectivity and uh, i have i've added this one again 
But what if I want to add this here? So it's kind of the same process. You just need to click on here and now you can even increase the size. And now let's see what we have. Now we have another one here. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Now, another one I need here is record. So let's record. Okay, screen re screen recording. Uh, yeah, just no click and uh, move this right over here. Okay, it's pretty handy this way. Now, let's look for other controls that we need here. Timer, alarm, now scan code. I also need that one here. I use pretty often. That's basically what you need to do. Just take your time and look what controls you use the most, and you can add those here. Do not disturb. I also need that one here. Okay. I'm just testing if it's close to my finger so I can reach those controls fast. Okay, add another control. Let's see which one I need. Music. It's playing the music and you want. Uh, that's not uh, bad. We do also need that one. Can, you can just drag like this. You can also see the music is uh, playing. Now, let's add another control, which one I need. Do not disturb, I have. You can also add another shortcut, okay? Uh, another app, which is pretty nice, okay? You can click on here, choose the app. Let's say I need books. I can click on books. And now I have this app right over there. Let's say if I read a lot, I can just uh, have that one there and I can also see, okay, and I can go directly to that app, which I think it's pretty great. I, th I think I really like this, uh, this update. Now it's quite, a, it's just like not a super high learning curve, but there is a learning curve because you have to just, um, just to understand exactly how it works and uh, how it works this control panel now compared with uh, how it used to work and uh, I'll show you right now now to compare this with iPhone or oh, sorry iOS 18 now here unfortunately you can't you can't change or you can't find Wi-Fi we don't have this customization we have right now on uh, iPhone on iOS 18.1 so if I go here and add a control and if I search here, Wi-Fi, I can't find this. There's no option. There's no Wi-Fi here. You can't add, but it's still you can add mobile, airplane, airplane, Bluetooth, personal hotspot. But I have to add still this bundle, this uh, multiple apps, this kind of like package of apps. Uh, if you drag like this from this corner, you can't add. But So you basically still have so have to press twice one drag swipe click tab one time and then type so yeah too much time wasted <laughs> two seconds yeah <laughs> and instead of just um clicking on here you want to reach bluetooth now if you search let's say i go here to control add the control and if i look for bluetooth airplane mobile um you still can't find what you really want so yeah, definitely I recommend actually updating to iOS 18.1. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and take care.